Welcome everyone. In this video, uh, we're going to be taking a look at how we can use GitHub Actions to automate the uh, publishing of our HTML web application to HIO. If you're not familiar, HIO is an open marketplace for individual dependent digital creators with a focus on video games. Uh, this platform allows uh, developers and content creators to share assets, games, uh, they host game jams, and they allow you to uh, host and run your content on here uh, for free. Uh, for your content, um, you can sell it, um, and you are full in full control of setting the price if you accept donations. Um, you also design the pages and manage the uh, community aspect around that content, so like comments and everything like that. And one of the things that I like to participate in is the game jams and typically part of this process is you need to host your game somewhere so other people can play and include a link to your source code so everyone can uh, learn and share um, etc and typically what this process would entail for a developer is just if I go to upload a new project for example one of the things they're going to have to do is bundle up their source code and then upload the files to HIO directly or they could share from Dropbox um, and this is fine, but throughout the process, you might want to release new versions and it just, this is time that gets taken away and we can automate this with GitHub Actions if you're using GitHub for your uh, source control. And that's what we'll be focused on in this uh, video here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is want to come back to our course uh, repo and inside the repo, there is this tic-tac-toe project uh, subfolder. And uh, basically what this is, this is a basic HTML5 game uh, that is tic-tac-toe um, and it is just kind of a proof of concept for the purpose of this course and is built using uh, Phaser 3. And so some key, key takeaways of this project is it is a it uses Node.js uh, for running a dev server, uh, for building bundle our code, um, and basically putting everything together. Um, so you'll see here in the package JSON, uh, some of our key scripts is going to be this uh, build and then also deploy. And so the project uses Vite for bundling our source code. And what that will do is it's going to bundle our index.html page. It's going to parse the TypeScript files in the source folder and create a new uh, dist folder. And this folder is what we actually want to upload to itch.io. So uh, with that, uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and right, switch uh, so over to So the first thing we're going to do is we'll go ahead and come over to our files. Let's create a new workflow file for our uh, deployment. Uh, so we're going to workflows. We're just going to call this itch io deploy yaml and what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and go into our pull request yaml file let's copy the content and we're going to use that as a starting point uh, so the first thing is we'll update our workflow uh, file name so we're going to call this itch io deploy workflow uh, we're going to want to go ahead and target our other subfolder. Uh, so this will be tic tac toe project. Uh, we'll update our job name. Uh, so we're just going to call this itch.io deploy. We'll stick with Ubuntu. Uh, for our running directory, uh, we'll go ahead and use our tic tac toe project. So I'm just going to copy this, place this. And then we're going to have to check out our repo. Uh, we're going to go ahead and bump this to v3. And then for Node.js, uh, what we're going to do, we'll stick with Node 16 npm, and then we just need to update our cache dependency path. So we're going to use tic-tac-toe project. Um, and then from there, most of this should stay the same. So we're going to install yarn to get our dependencies. Um, with the frozen lock file. Uh, we don't need to worry about linting. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and remove this. And then we do want to compile our code, uh, so we'll do the yarn build. And then what we need to do now is if we build our code, we should get a dist folder. And so with that dist folder, uh, what we need to do is we actually need to take that folder and upload it to HIO. And so to do this, we're going to go ahead and use a third party GitHub action. Uh, so the action we're going to use is it's called Butler Publish HIO Action uh, from Manly Dev on uh, GitHub. 
And basically what this action will do is it allows us to provide our credentials, uh, our API key uh, for HIO. And then what we can do is provide some parameters for the action of where we want to publish our game. Uh, so we can provide the channel. Uh, so for us, it's going to be HTML, uh, but it also supports things like Windows, Mac, um, any platform that you're going to distribute your game on. And then it has your uh, game name uh, for the project that you created your username, and then finally a path to where your compiled code lives. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to copy this block of code here. We'll switch back over to our IDE. Let's paste that in here. And what we're going to do is instead of doing master, I'm going to go ahead and use the latest version. So if we go into our tags, uh, you'll see it's V103. So we're just going to change this to v one. Zero three, and then instead of Butler credentials, uh, we're going to go ahead and call our secret itch IO API key, and then we're going to update our channel. It's going to be to HTML, and then what we need to do is provide the name of our game. Uh, so for my game, and so you'll want to update this to be the project name that you create in itch IO. Uh, so I'm just going to call mine GitHub Actions tick tack toe example and then this will be your HIO username uh, so mine will be uh, Galmius and then what we need to do is provide a path to our folder uh, so it's going to be under tick tack toe project and then it's going to be under dist so if we go ahead and save what we need to do now is we need to set up a few things. Um, what we need to do is we need to create our new uh, API key in GitHub. And we need to go ahead and create our project in HIO so that way we have a place to push our game to. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and switch over to HIO. And we'll go ahead and grab our API key and uh, set up our project. So to get your API key for uh, HIO, what we need to do is go to you, the HIO website. You'll want to go up to your profile icon after you log in. If you go into settings, this will take you to your account settings page. And over on the left, there should be a button for developer and API keys. Once you are on this page, there should be two API keys shown, one for web, one for WARF, and it'll be the second API key that you'll actually want to grab. So if you click on the view button, it'll show your API key, which you should be able to copy. Uh, from there, we want to go ahead and take our API key and create a GitHub repository secret. So if we come back to GitHub, uh, go into the settings for your repo. On the left-hand side, if you go ahead and go to secrets, We'll click New Repository Secret. We'll want this to match our secret name. Uh, so we'll do HIO API key. And then go ahead and paste in your API key here and click Add Secret. And then we should see your secret under the uh, Repository Secret section. All right, so one additional thing we need to do is we actually need to create our HIO project. So what we'll do is we'll come back to HIO. Go ahead and click on your icon and go ahead and go to Upload a New Project. What we're going to do is we need to go ahead and give it a title. Uh, so for my title, I'm going to go ahead and use GitHub Actions Tic-Tac-Toe example. And you'll, you can update this to be anything you want. Just one thing to keep in mind, this will have to match what we provide to our GitHub Action. And then what we'll want to do is just go ahead and fill out the uh, relevant pieces of information. So we go ahead and save our project. Uh, so just a few things to note, you'll want to do HTML for your kind of project. Uh, for status, I'm just going to do prototype. Uh, this is not a full uh, game. Oh, and, so one other, um, and then finally what I would do is I would go ahead and put your page in draft mode. Um, go ahead and save. And then we should have our, our game project page. And now we should be able to upload our game to do our test. All right, so now that we've set up our API key on the repository, what we're going to do is we'll come back to our code. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and test and uh, run our code. Uh, so we we'll go ahead and push this up to our repository. Oh, and before we push our code, we actually don't need to run any tests. So let's go ahead and get rid of that block. We'll go ahead and save. And now we'll push our code up to uh, GitHub. All right, and now, so now we pushed our code. Uh, we'll come back to our repository. Uh, let's go ahead and go into our actions. 
And then what we're going to want to do is go into our workflows. Uh, let's go ahead and go into HIO deploy workflow. And I'm going to go ahead and manually trigger this. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at our results. All right, so it looks like our workflow completed successfully. Uh, so if we go ahead and take a peek. Uh, what we should see is we build our project. Uh, we go ahead and create our disk folder uh, with our index.html page, our source code, and then we run our third-party action to go ahead and publish our game using Butler. Uh, so you'll see here it grabs our channel and our arguments, and it says it's, it was able to push successfully, and if we use the Butler CLI, we could check the status of it. So, in theory, if I come over to HIO, if I go into my notifications, you'll see we have a brand new notification. Uh, my new build for my project is now live. And if I go to my project, uh, what should happen is it should load the content uh, since I should be the first person to access it. And we should be able to run and test our game. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this content interesting and helpful. If you did enjoy the content, please give it a like, subscribe, or leave a comment down below. If you have any questions or ideas for future content, please let me know, and I will talk to you all later.